Hey everyone, uh, back with another video. Uh, today we're going to show you how to merge items together. Um, we have four different methods here. Uh, the first one we're going to do is the reverse of the last video where we put things on shelves and when we place them, it pushed them off the shelves to make the uh, floating item glitch. This time we're going to put them on the shelves and have them be brought together and merging them like this. As you can see, we have a uh, fish tank with a lantern inside, still functional. Looks pretty cool, at least I think so. So to, the, to do that, we are gonna need items that you wanna merge together and a shelf. So a quick recap of the uh, last video to get things to fly. Uh, you build items off the main wall of the main house. So the inside, outside, front or back, doesn't matter. Build it off this wall. Causes it, it causes it to uh, push everything off the shelf. Pick it up to the back. Now, this method, to draw everything together, you're gonna basically do the exact opposite. You're gonna build on one of the main walls, put your items on there, arrange them, rotate them the way you want them to look, right? And then when you take it off the main wall and put it on any other wall, it brings them together. You can get these cool little, uh, little art pieces or decor. Again, fully functional. It's pretty neat. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is merge things into walls. So I should start off by saying that this only works on walls uh, in between rooms. So um, walls with windows, can't do it yet, or just plain walls. If you have those, it uh, doesn't work. Same thing with uh, the walls with the, the chimneys. I haven't found anything for those either. So it has to be a bridging wall between two rooms. So... Go to editing mode, change it to open concept, escape, boom, it's open. So now we can place pretty much anything we want in the way, however we'd like. There we are. Now what we gotta do is change the wall type back. Boom. Pretty easy. Now, uh, some of you are probably thinking, oh, this is dumb. I am probably never going to use that. And as you can tell real quick, it's easy to get everything unstuck, so no worries there. But let me show you an example of a uh, practical use that I found for this glitch. All right. So like you, as you can see right here, I got these really nice lamps. These are the bellflower lamps. I love them. And using that method, we glitch them into the wall just enough to give this beautiful little marble stone pole thing. I don't know. Looks really good in my opinion. But that is a practical example of what you can do. Okay. So the next one is um, hanging things in between doors or off the side of your house. Um, all you're going to need for this are the uh, industrial wall decors. I got quite a few, so I'm just rearranging those. All right. So uh, normally I can place these anywhere around the circumference of the, the door frame here, but, but the poles are blocking it, so i got to be very specific where these go. There we go. But you can just keep adding them on. And just keep going. And as you can tell, it's hanging out in the middle of the air. So the cool thing is now that we can find anything from the wall, like this painting. Uh, I can't see the green. Let's try this one. Ah, there we go. Ah, we got it. 
and we hang it there. Um, as you can see, looks kind of dumb, but it, that's what you're looking for and that's what you want, you can do it. Now the cool thing is you can delete these and that way, you know, they're not messing up your look. You basically use them like scaffolding and just use them as a temporary placement until you get the item that you want centered where you want and then place it. So there we go. All right. So the fourth and final method um, is going to be merging items together. Um, this is a little more difficult because you're going to need another person or another account on another computer, which, which is what I'm doing um, since none of my friends were available. Uh, what I've already used this for is the Ember statue with the flame brazier mixed with uh, the floating glitch. You know, get some cool ideas going. Um, this, I, I just thought this was cool, so I, I did that, and then merging the tubs together. Kind of bougie, right? Okay, so uh, let's find two things that we're going to merge together. I've done uh, these bookcases already, but I'm, we're going to redo those. So, um, important note is that you can't place these on top of um, existing items. So if I pick this up, right, even though it's free floating to me, um, to anybody else in the house, the item is still in the same spot and you see like a ghost form of what I'm holding floating around. So if I was trying to build something right here, we couldn't because to them and everybody else, the item's still here. And I'll show you what I mean in just a second. Let me get my all over there. So if we're looking at that bookcase, if my alt picks it up and starts moving it around, to them, that bookcase is not there anymore, and they see the free-floating uh, bookcase getting ready to be placed. So if I try to merge these two together, I can't because on our screen it's still there. So make sure everything's out of the way of where you want this to be actually placed, and, um, and then attempt this. So what we're going to do, we moved everything out of the way. Boom. It's officially clear in that corner now. So I'm going to pick up my item, get it where I want it, and get my alt to pick up their item, and get it where we want it. And then at the exact same time, sorry, let me readjust this. At the exact same time, you both place. Oh. Well, it was a little faster, even though I did that with my left hand. And as you can tell, I got to move this again because it's in place, and then bring that guy and place it at the exact same time. All right. So now, turn that off. You can see how it perfectly merged together. No issues. You can still place things on them. Everything's still functional. Everything's pretty neat. So you can get really creative um, with this. I'm pretty excited after I post this video to see what people do. So um, yeah, get on that, guys. Uh, quick shout out to uh, Tiny Dragon who uh, and the rest of the uh, official uh, Palia Discord uh, in the housing channel for not only uh, giving me inspiration for some of these ideas, but also helping me... Uh, uh, test some of them so uh, thank you guys um, but yeah if you would like just come in there and join us uh, everybody's pretty chill um, feel free to ask questions uh, I'm in there a lot so if you have questions for me feel free or just leave a comment either one um, I'll also uh, leave a, the link to the previous video of a more in-depth explanation of how to get things to float so yeah thanks for watching guys